The goal of this video is to merge the up and down counter into a single design. In previous videos, we designed an asynchronous up counter. We then adapted this design to produce a down counter. We chose our design so that we can count up and down in the same application. For the up counter, the clock trigger to the second flip-flop was fed from the Q bar output of the first flip-flop. For the down counter, we simply placed an inverter on this line. Thus, for the up-down counter, we need to place a device on this line, which we can controllably invert. Controlled inversion is implemented using an XOR gate. Seen as a controlled inverter, when the invert control input is zero, the output X is the same as the input A. When the invert input is one, the output X is the inverse of the input A. When the XOR gate is inserted in the feedforward line of the up-down counter, the control input determines whether the counter will count up or count down. That is, when this input is zero, the counter will count up. When this input is one, the counter will count down. This therefore is our overall design of the up-down counter. This basic design can be extended to incorporate the required number of bits. The 74193 TTL integrated circuit is a 4-bit up-down counter. Here are its specifications. This is in fact a synchronous counter. It uses a different algorithm in which all the flip-flops are run on a common clock input. Hence, there is no ripple effect with the associated glitches. This IC has an asynchronous clair that sets all the bits to zero. It also has an active low asynchronous parallel load and can thus be manually preset to any desired state. The IC has separate rising edge triggers for count up and count down. Finally, in order to permit cascading, it has an active low output when it attains its highest count containing all ones. This is called the up terminal count or a carry out. There is correspondingly an active low output to indicate that it has attained its lowest count of all zeros. This is called the down terminal count or borrow out. The terminal count outputs permit the cascading of ICs in order to extend the number of bits. To perform cascading, the terminal count up output is connected to the count up trigger of the next stage. And the terminal count down output is connected to the count down trigger of the next stage.